Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to show you how to grow the hibiscus from the cuttings. Now, I mentioned this as the laziest method simply because I am going to show you everything as simple way as possible and you are also going to see the same thing whatever you have seen on the thumbnail. So, please make sure to watch the video till the end. Now, I get one question too often like when is the best time to do the cuttings. Now, let me tell you that this is not only for hibiscus, for any plants, if you want to grow from the cuttings, the best time is either the spring or the rainy season. And that time if you do the cuttings, you are going to get high success rate. However, there are many plants that we can grow throughout the whole year. For example, I did this in the month of December. Please also note that to get the good success rate, the temperature should not be too high or too low. And if we do in the winter season, definitely we are going to get less success rate. Here are some of my hibiscus cuttings as you can see and all are soft wood cuttings. Now soft wood means the new growth. Recently I had to prune some of my hibiscus plants and that's why I just decided to plant few cuttings instead of just throwing them. While collecting the cuttings please make sure that they are at least 6 to 8 inches long. Next I am just going to prepare the cuttings and for that I am going to cut the cuttings slightly below a node in a 45 degree angle and then I am going to remove most of the leaves. I am going to keep only few leaves on its cuttings. So this is the container where I am going to plant all the cuttings and please note that I did not prepare any kind of soil media to grow the cuttings. I am just using some of my old soil, I mean I grew some other plants in the same container. And this is the reason why I said this is one of the laziest method. And the second reason why I say this is as the lazy method because I am not going to use any kind of rooting hormone powder. But if you want to use, you can use either number one rooting hormone powder or if you don't have it, you can use honey as a rooting hormone powder. While planting the cuttings, please make sure that at least one inch remains inside the soil. Next, I am just pressing the soil a bit so that cuttings are not going to move here and there. Just after planting the cuttings, please water heavily but while watering for the next time onwards, please be extremely careful. I mean before watering, let the top soil dry out or let the top one inch soil dry out and then only water it. My soil is already looking bit wet and that's why I am not going to water it. Next, I am just going to keep the pot in a bright area. After 45 days and I can see that only 4 cuttings are doing somewhat okay. Anyway, I knew this thing is going to happen because I did this in the winter season. I can also see the new growths on my cuttings, I mean new leaves and that's why I am going to keep the pot under direct sunlight. However, please also note that it's always a good idea to wait for some more days and let the cuttings produce some more new leaves. So guys this is the final result after 75 days and you can see nice blooms on my hibiscus cuttings. Now let me tell you that you really don't have to wait for 75 days. You can transplant the cuttings much earlier but I just waited because I really feel somewhat satisfied if I can show you some blooms on my cuttings and that's why I just waited for 75 days. However, I do have to agree that I got really low success rate but anyway I am happy because I can see another cutting is trying to produce the new leaves. Now let me show you the roots and I hope you are going to see how nicely they have produced the roots.
so guys it was the laziest way to grow the hibiscus from the cuttings and i know that you'd be able to do it very easily if you found the video useful please do me a favor please like the video share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and many many thanks for doing that if you want more info about growing and caring for your hibiscus then i would recommend you to watch my next video and in that video i have covered everything from growing hibiscus from the day one to until flowering and there you are going to get all the info about how you can get lots of blooms on your hibiscus plants Thank you once again for taking your time to watch the video. I truly appreciate it. Have a great day and enjoy.